So that's our question number two. We are told that a boy of mass 40 kilograms sits at a point of 2.0 meters from the pivot of a seesaw. Find the weight of a girl who can balance the seesaw by sitting at a distance of 3.2 meters from the pivot. We have been told to take gravitational force as 10 newtons per kilogram. So when we are given such a question, we need to have a diagram so that we can see what is happening, so that we are in a position to calculate what is in question. So if we take this to be our CISO, let's say it is pivoted at this point. So we are told a boy of mass 40 kilograms sits at a point of 2.0 meters from the pivot of a CISO. So this is our pivot. The boy sits at a distance, the distance here from the pivot to where the boy is, this is the boy, the distance we are told is 2.0, uh, a mass of 40 kilograms, the boy has a mass of 40 kilograms and he sits 2.0 meters from the pivot. 2.0 meters from the pivot, that's what we have. So find the weight of a girl who can balance by sitting at a distance of 3.2 from the pivot. We can elongate this. So at a distance of 3.2, let's say our 3.2 is up to here. So this distance from where the girl is to the pivot is 3.2 meters. So this is the girl. So we want to get the weight of this girl. And of course, the weight will act in a downward direction, so we want to get this weight. And uh, when this boy sits here, he will exert some weight or some force, some force here, which we need also to calculate. So you can see the boy is on this side, the girl is on the other side. We know the distance from the boy to the pivot and the force we can calculate. We know the distance of the girl from the pivot, but we don't have the weight of the girl. And that is what is in question. But we are told that the girl balances with the boy. So it is at equilibrium. So to start with, we need to get the force here that will be exerted by the boy. From form 1, we learn that force is given by mass multiplied by the gravitational force. And the mass of the boy is 40 kilograms, the gravitational force is 10 newtons per kilogram. So we can multiply and get 400 newtons. So the force being exerted by the boy is 400 newtons. So we now want to calculate the weight of this girl. And we are told that the seesaw is at balance. So when we are told that it is at balance, we need to start by stating the principle of moments. So we'll start by saying that at equilibrium, at equilibrium, sum of clockwise moment is equal to sum of the anticlockwise moment. So we'll come and ask ourselves, this force here will bring about clockwise or anticlockwise moment. So we can see for this one, we are going to have it in clockwise, so this is clockwise, and the other one is anticlockwise. So we only have those two. So we just come and say for the clockwise moment, we have force, which is 400 newtons, 400 newtons, times the perpendicular distance, which is 2.0 meters, is equal to the weight, which we don't know, so we can talk of the weight, multiplied by the perpendicular distance, which is 3.2 meters. So that is what we have. So we can multiply this 400 2.0 newton meters is equal to 3.2 W meters. So we have 800 newton meters is equal to 3.2 W meters. So to get the value of W, divide both sides by 3.2 meters by 3.2 meters. So we have that cancelling. 
So we end up getting our W, which is the weight of the girl, as 800 divided by 3.2, which is 250. So the weight will be 250 newtons. So the weight of the girl is 250 newtons. So that's what we have been told to find the weight of a girl who will balance the sea. So by sitting at a distance of 3.2 meters from the pivot. So this girl will be 250 newtons. Is that clear? So we can do the last question. Let's look at question number three. So question number three, we have the following. That's our question. So we are told that a uniform meter rule is balanced at the 30 centimeters mark when a mass of 50 grams is hanging from its zero mark. Calculate the weight of the rule. Now I want you to make note of the following. If we are told that the meter rule is uniform, if it is uniform, for any uniform body, the weight will act at its geometrical center. So the weight acts at its geometric at its geometrical center. And here since we have a meter rule, at what point will the geometrical center of a meter rule be? It is at 50 centimeters mark because that is the center. A meter rule is up to 100 centimeters. So you need to note for a uniform meter rule its weight will act at its geometrical center. So here we have a uniform meter rule. It's balanced at the 30 centimeters mark when a mass of 50 grams is hanging from its zero mark. So what is the weight of the rule? So we start by drawing that rule, that meter rule. That is our meter rule. We are told, we know that it is from zero centimeters all the way to 100 centimeters. So it is balanced at the 30 centimeters mark. So if we take this to be our 30 centimeters mark, this is where the pivot is. So this is 30 centimeters. We are told when a mass of 15 grams is hanging from its zero mark. So here we have a mass. Remember it is not force, it is a mass of 15 grams. The mass has no direction, so we draw it that way. So we are going to calculate the weight of the rule. So the weight, we, since it is uniform, it's going to act at the center. So our center, if our 50 centimeters mark is here, this is where the weight of the rule is going to act. So here is the weight. So that is what we want to calculate. And we have been told clearly that it is balanced. So we want to calculate the weight of that meter rule. So since it is balanced, we start by stating the principle of moment. So we can start by saying that at equilibrium, sum of clockwise moment is equals to sum of anticlockwise moments at equilibrium. So we can see for this one, this W will lean to clockwise moment, whereas this force which will be exerted by the mass of 15 grams will lean to anticlockwise moment. Now here we don't have the weight, but we have the distance. Note that the distance is the distance from the point of support to the line of action. So the distance here is 50 minus 30, which is 20 centimeters. Here the distance is from 0 to 30, so the distance is 30 minus 0, which is 30 centimeters. But now we, this is mass that is given. So we need to know what is the weight exerted. So we need to calculate the weight here. 
so that we can use it in calculation of moment. We know that weight of is given by mass times gravitational force. So our mass is 15 grams. We need to change it in its SI units, which is kilograms, by dividing by a thousand. Because a thousand grams make one kilogram. So we have 50 of a thousand kilograms, then multiplying by the gravitational force, which is 10 newtons per newtons a kilogram and kilogram will cancel. We can cancel this and this. So 5 over 10, we get 0 0.5 newtons. So the force being exerted by this mass is 0 0.5 newtons. So we start with the clockwise moment. We have W multiplied by the distance, which is 20 all over 100 meters, is equal to the force as a result of this mass is 0 0.5 newtons. And the distance is 30 all over 100 meters. So we can cancel that. We end up getting 0 0.2 W meters is equal to, we can divide that, 0 0.5 times 3. 0 0.5 multiplied by 3, then divided by 10. You end up getting 0 0.15. So this is 0 0.15 newton meters. 0 0.2 W meters is equal to 0 0.15 newton meters. So we want to get the value of W. We divide both sides by 0 0.2 meters by 0 0.2 meters. This will cancel. We remain with W. Meters will cancel. So we have 0 0.15, 0 0.15 divided by... 0 0.2 and we end up getting our answer to be 0 0.75 newtons that is the mass oh sorry that is the weight of the meter rule we have sent a uniform meter rule the weight will act at its geometrical center which is at 50 centimeters mark so we have been able to get the value of w which is the weight of the meter rule, which is 0 0.75 newtons. Remember we said when you are given the mass, like in our case we have been given a mass of 15 grams, we need now to get the force. Because when we are calculating moment, we are getting the product of force and the perpendicular distance. And force is given by mass multiplied by the gravitational force and mass must be expressed in kilograms. So we have been able to get 50 all over 1000 multiplied by 10 which is 0 0.5 newtons. And since it is balanced at equilibrium, sum of clockwise moments will be equal to the sum of anticlockwise moments. And we have been able to calculate the clockwise moment equate to the anticlockwise moments and we have been able to get the value of W as 0 0.75 newtons. Is that one clear?